everybody and welcome to the moment that you've all been waiting for finally you guys are going to be finally getting your sprites into your games and your players and stuff to do certain animations okay so i am um, this is probably going to be split up into one or two videos i'm going to do it all in one take and then split up the videos so i'm not sure how much how long it's going to in fact be but anyways hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial and let's get right into it so as you can see um, I'm in paint.net now and I have two sprite sheets um, this tutorial is for sprite sheets right now and I will be doing I'll doing a, be doing a series on individual sprite animations and you'll find out more about that after this will come after these two videos anyways to start off I got my sprite sheets they are f um the image size is uh, 128 by 192 and um, there's f four frames to the right and four frames down so 16 images in total same with this one so um, I've set the background to magenta so that um, I can make the background transparent so you don't see any background colors when the player is walking and um, if you would like to make some sprites off your own because I know you guys just want to delve into the programming world right you don't want to have to worry about doing um, like doing drawing or, whatever or hiring somebody to draw graphics for you so there's um, different sprite generators on the internet and if you um, I will put them in the description below if I forget then just um, leave, leave me a reminder in the comments or something and I'll put the links there for you to create your own sprite sheets so when you create your sprite sheets you put them in the same folder as you put your fonts and your um, first images from the last tutorial I believe so um, save it as a um, BMP image and you save it in the same root directory and I say mine, the first one is player image 1, and the second one is player image 2. Um, in my code, I only use one sprite sheet. I was planning on doing two, but I end up only doing one. Because I want to make it, I want to get right into the meat of the code. Uh, because there's a lot of complicated stuff, and I just want to get, I don't want you to be focused on two different player sprites. I just want you to be focused on one so you un understand the concepts because if there's more than one player then it kind of gets confusing so a lot of the code has changed I took out the code when you can close it with the X button you can put that in if you want um, everything else is the everything else is the same uh, I've changed the BPS to timer to 60 change that to 60 because that is a regular frame rate, rate I believe that humans can see anything higher is just not needed so anyways um since we don't have to close in the window with the X button then we have to make a boolean variable called um done and set it to false so we can say that when done is like when we are done or when we quit the game or whatever then it will exit the game loop so we need to have a boolean variable name it whatever you like and now we're introducing enums if you haven't learned about enums in your beginner tutorials they're basically like defines but in a more organized fashion so I've named my I named my enum source and I have the following properties down left right and up and enums start from zero so this will give down the value of zero give left the value of one give right the value of two and give up the value of three now you have to put it in this specific order if you don't put it in this order so you want to mix up the order then you have to put like right is equal to two blah 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 but you one you might be wondering why did I put it in this specific order well let's go <coughs> sorry let's go back to our sprite sheet so our first line of sprites are facing down our second line of sprites are facing left third line of sprites are facing right and fourth line of sprites are facing up so I put in the order um, down left right up and you'll see the reason why we have to put in this specific order so let's go back to our project and we go back to loading our bitmap now um, our player image so our player image I named the player image 1 and I've loaded the player image 1.bmp 
simple enough that's from last tutorial um instead of, since we don't have two pl um players this time i want i didn't want the code to get too complicated so um it has one cell but it has two elements in the cell the first one is the same as before um x th um the first one will be for x and the second one will be, will be will be for y so the x coordinate is 10 the y coordinate is 10 the current frame is something new to you and um basically this is how it's going to work when we're doing um game development and uh, when we're doing spray animation sorry so first if the player if you're pressing the down button right then it has to cycle through all these frames right so what the current frame does is that when we set our our current frame y will select vertically which direction we're facing so we're pressing the down arrow key or the down button whatever your down button is then it will start drawing from up here if you're pressing the left button then it will start drawing from right here if you're drawing if you're pressing the right button it will start drawing from right here and if you draw if you press the up button it will start drawing from right here and you might be a little confused but follow with me and then in our x for our current frame in the x coordinates we have to cycle through each one of these images to make a fluent animation right cycle through that cycle through that and then go to that and when it reaches this image then we have to go back to the first image again go through that 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 whatever until the player stops moving right so that is what the current frame does the current frame says that the um, it, right now we're basically setting the starting positions right so um, down is equal to zero so this is the same thing as putting zero so I'll set this to zero now the current frame you might not get it yet but you will see more in depth what it is later on so now let's look at frames right just, just to inform um, you need to know how many frames um, horizontally and vertically you have so then you can alter certain properties in your program so basically what I'm what I'm searching for is how many frames do we have going to the right so that's four one two three four and how many frames do we got going up and down one two three four so right here if you look our frames for that frames X for our frame zero or X whatever horizontally it's set to four spaces and for here it's set to four spaces too the reason why we have this is because all, not all sprite sheets are the same some are larger some are smaller so you have to set the amount of frames it has in order to alter certain things in your program so let's look at the dimensions okay so we need to actually find out the actual individual images um the width and the height of the actual images right we know that the whole image is 128 this whole image is 128 by 90 by 196 but we don't know the width and height of the actual single images in our sprite sheet so this is what the dimensions um, variable actually does what it does is that it says the player image width so it takes a whole width divided by the amount of frames that it has so right now we're finding the the image the actual the whole image is width um divided by the frames in the going horizontally so basically it's saying this once we go back to this it's basically saying 196 so let's look at our calculator um no it's 128 my bad so it's basically 128 divided by because the whole width is 128 divided by four because it's four frames so that means each picture is 32 pixels wide right and then when we go for the y for vertical for the y coordinate 196 divided by four right because there's four frames going up and down is equal to 49 wait is it supposed to be 49 yeah it's 49 I never know, knew that okay so it's 49 so basically uh, it's 32 32 by 49 each image is 32 by 49 pixels right 
So let's go back to our, so this is basically stating how wide each individual picture is. Simple enough. This is our move speed. Previously it was set to 5, I would recommend changing it to 3. And then we see switch frame and frame color, um, frame counter, and we have a boolean that is um, to state is it active or not. So more, I'll get more in depth into this. Basically the switch frame is to indicate when you sw should switch from image to image, or indicate when you should switch from this image to this image, then to move on to the next image to the next image. So it's basically saying the amount of time you have to wait before you switch frames. And this is very important because if you don't have a, time, a set time to switch the frames in, then the, like the animation, the frame animation will move too quickly and it will look kind of bootleg. And I'll show you what I mean, show you an example. So says um, set the switch frame to zero, which is equivalent to no switch frame at all. So if I run this program, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but when I'm walking, the legs will be moving at ultra speed. They're moving at like they're moving way too fast. But if I switch that to back to eight, which is a good number to set it to, then when we're walking, it's a moderate pace, right? Which is what you want to really go for. And then if you have like a running action, then you set the switching frame to lower for like the lower the switch frame is, the faster the animation will be, right?